What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to be talking about this guy. So if you guys recall, this is an RX 570 4 gig card. And this originally had on one of these aftermarket coolers as well as the back plates and if you guys remember we did a whole video on cleaning this and disassembling it and putting it back together. Um, and these are actually going to go to a few of my mods. I gifted these to a few of my mods, so I'm going to be sending those out this week. If you guys are interested in the video behind these things, uh, massive, look at these things, uh, I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner. But today we're talking about BIOS modding. And is it worth it? And does it actually work? So for a lot of you guys that are uh, veteran miners, this may be a snooze fest for you. But for some of our new miners, some of our people looking to get their foot in the door, some of our amateur miners, this will definitely be beneficial for you. So, this is an RX 570 4 gig card. Uh, today's testing is going to be on Ethereum Classic, and we're going to do three total tests. The first test is going to be stock BIOS, stock overclock settings on Ethereum Classic. We're gonna take a look at our watts and we're gonna take a look at the hash rate. Step number two is going to be with the Polaris BIOS one-click BIOS editor. And we're gonna take a look at stock settings and we're gonna take a look at the wattage at the wall. And then we're also gonna go ahead and take a look at how does it do on overclock settings. Then finally, for our third test that we're gonna go ahead and run, we're gonna go ahead and do a custom BIOS edit uh, by a community member named Rondi. Um, and uh, fantastic guy, well-known within the community, very helpful all around. And then we're gonna go ahead and test the hash rate stock, the hash rate overclock settings, and the watts at the wall. So we're gonna have three separate tests, stock, a kind of canned BIOS, and then finally a custom BIOS. And from start to finish, my goal is to show you guys just how effective you can be with BIOS editing your mining graphics cards. So let's go ahead and get this installed in our test bench. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Look at those temps right there. That is cold air from outside in Pennsylvania right now coming in at about nine o'clock at night. Uh, let's see, swap it over to Celsius. There you go, there's Celsius for the rest of the world. 13.4, 56.2. So yeah, I have four of these in my mining room. Two at waist height, there's one there, one there. And then I got two more up high. And look at that, by the time the hot air rises from my mining rigs, it's only 74 degrees at the top right now, which is awesome. Okay, so here is our test GPU, just kind of hanging out on its own. Uh, using the hobbyist miner GPU hanger. If you guys are interested in these, I'll put a link down below for purchase. Uh, we're using a GPRisers.com riser as well as our Y splitter. Going into just a little simple 500 watt uh, power supply into a uh, HP motherboard. That's what that is. So we do have a, a voltage meter at the wall. It's a kilowatt voltage meter right there. And uh, we are up and running. Um, on our test bench. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. And our first test is going to be taking a look at what this card does stock for our watts, does stock for hash rate, and how it does with a little overclock settings. Okay, so let's dive into some Hive OS and some spreadsheets. So right here, this is our Radeon RX 570 on the stock BIOS. Right now it is 25 mega hash on Ethereum Classic. So we're gonna go over to our spreadsheet here and we're gonna update our different fields. So the first one here, stock ETC hash rate, we just talked about was 25. Now the watts at the wall is 158. That is what we're getting right now. And now our next step is to go ahead and put in some overclock settings and then we'll chalk, check the wattage again. Okay, so our overclock settings are in right now. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So we're using 1150 on the core, one on our core state, 850 on our core voltage. Our memory clock is around 2100. Uh, and now granted, keep in mind we're running Hynix memory. Our memory state is one. 
Uh, we do have our fans at 100 during our testing. Uh, you do have the DPM state enabled uh, to coincide with our core state and our memory state. And then finally, we have gone ahead and done the AMD memory tweak, and we are using Hynix memory. So that puts us right now, let's give it a second here, we're upwards of 30.62 mega hash right now on these overclock settings. Okay, yep, 30.62. So let's go back over to our spreadsheet and update that. Now, something I wanted to point out in our spreadsheet here is that I did not um, originally, in our last conversation there, um, remove the watts for our rig. So our rig uses 20 watts total. So I've done this with multiple different tests previously, so I know this off the top of my head. So 158 minus 20 gives us 138. Now moving over here, we have 30.62 watts, but we're at 137 watts. So not a big difference there uh, within the margin of error for our watts, but we definitely gained a lot going from stock hash rate to now overclocked hash rate, uh, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and bump to test number two. We're going to go ahead and use the Polaris BIOS one-click BIOS editor, and we're going to edit our BIOS. If you guys are familiar with how this process goes, I'm going to put a video in the upper right-hand corner as well as down below. I do an entire video step-by-step -step of how to do this, so I'm not going to spend all my time doing it right now, but I am going to show you guys how to update the BIOS now. So we're gonna go over to our test rig here. We're going to go to overclock settings and flash BIOS. We're going to go ahead and do choose file. And on our desktop, we have three separate folders. We have a custom BIOS, a Polaris one-click BIOS editor, and then the stock BIOS. So I'm gonna to go to my Polaris one-click BIOS editor that we had already edited, select that, and I'm gonna select the card, I'm gonna force it, and I'm gonna hit upload. It's gonna go ahead and upload this BIOS directly to the uh, GPU, and then it's going to pop up and tell us, please go ahead and reboot. So let me go ahead and allow that to happen, and then we'll be back here in just a minute to go over how this does. Okay, so everything is applied with our second test uh, with the Polaris uh, BIOS editor in place with the one-click solution, and we're at 25.72. Let's put that in here. And our watts were 157. So let's go ahead and add in the exact uh, 57. I'm sorry. Minus, we got to do it. Look, we almost did it again. Minus our 20. And there's our 137. So now what we need to do is we need to go in and we're going to input the exact same overclock settings uh, and see exactly where we stand. So we were at 1150. One, we were at 850, 2100, one for a state. Our fan was 100%. We had aggressive um, undervolting on, and our tweak was at 30. All right, let's give it a second and see what we get. So our hash rate has definitely jumped a little bit, nothing crazy, uh, 31.12. Uh, so let's update this here, 31.12. And our watts is at 157 which drops us down to 137. So we're not seeing anything crazy when it comes to our differential on our watts. It's still 137 watts to mine Ethereum Classic, which is a lot. You know, now granted, this is a five-year-old GPU. So, you know, it's not as efficient as something like the 6600 or the 1660, uh, especially mining Ethereum Classic. Our last test is we're going to go ahead and upload the custom BIOS by Rondi, uh, who has much more knowledge and experience than I do. And we're going to run through this exact same test, stock watts, and then overclock and watts, and we'll see where we turn out. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So we are 25.06. Let's go ahead and put that in 25.06. And our watts are actually at the wall 180 minus 20. So our highest watts total at 160. Now I have gone ahead and added a column for efficiency. We'll circle back to that at the end. Okay, so let me go ahead and get our overclock settings in and we'll see and make the final decision on what is best for the different sets of BIOS, our hash rate, our watts, and our efficiency. Okay guys, it has been like an hour <laughs> since I went ahead and uh, 
actually mess with this. Um, so I went ahead and I put in our overclocks that we've been using through all the rest of our testing and the GPU kept crashing. So with the new BIOS, the custom one from Rondi, uh, so thanks to him for putting that together for us, it did not like the overclock settings. So I messed with this for a while and what I did was I would, I tweaked the core, I took the core and the memory down and then I slowly brought them up back and forth until it crashed. So our core ends up being at 1135, our DPM at one, our VDD at 850, our memory at 2080, and then our MDPM at one. Our hash rate is at, though 30.85. So if we come over here and take a look, uh, we're at 30.85, which is good. Uh, you can see here, so I've gone ahead and put that in. I did add overclock settings, by the way, uh, onto this sheet. I'm going to put this spreadsheet down below if you guys want to follow it along. But let's go ahead and take a look. So we're at 30.85. And our watts are at 132. So we've the best. This is the best watts that we've achieved so far. 132 watts, the lowest, should we say? Uh, and so, if you're looking to determine efficiency, what you do is you do your hash rate divided by your watts. So 30.85 divided by 132. That gives us 0.233. So as of right now, our efficiency. If I look across the board here, so look, stock is 0.15. Ugh, gar ugh, so bad. Now, if I come over to our second test with the Polaris BIOS one click, we were close by 0.11 uh, here. So as you can see, we had a higher hash rate because if you look at our overclock settings, but our watts were higher. So we ended up with our efficiency of 0.22. And then, you know, stock, we were down at uh, 0.18. And then if you come over here, we were at 30.62 for our stock BIOS um, with the same overclock settings there. But at 137, we were at 0.22 as well. So all said and done, guys, the custom BIOS by Rondi is by far the best for our hash rate to watt ratio. If you're chasing wattage, well, the Polaris BIOS one click was actually the best uh, at the end of the day. Uh, if you're chasing just watts but uh, you know something to consider your profitability does come you know your exp away from your expenses so the more you spend the less profitability that you do have well guys that's going to go ahead and wrap things up for today i appreciate you guys joining me to go ahead and go over is it worth it to go ahead and bios mod your mining graphics cards I hope you guys go out there and do your own testing. Feel free to use the spreadsheet link down below as a template to go ahead and do your own testing. Feel free to comment down below on your success stories. How has your BIOS mod modding been going? What did you gain for hash rate? What did you decrease for watts? I would love to hear about it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.